multiple threats from Iran against Trump. This is a story that's been rolling for a while, of course. Trump went public in his true social platform to inform his followers about his recent briefing by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence concerning, get this, real and specific threats from Iran to assassinate him in an effort to sow chaos in the United States. As a child, I remember living through the assassination of JFK which I believe was coordinated by Cuba and Russia during the heart of the Cold War. I take any threat by a foreign government extremely seriously. Trump stated, I'm surrounded by more men, guns and weapons than I have ever seen before. Thank you to Congress for unanimously approving far more money for the Secret Service. Zero no votes, strictly bipartisan. Nice to see Republicans and Democrats get together on something. As a comparison, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, Sharavim Porasafi had tried to pay 300,000 people in the United States to murder John Bolton, a senior national security advisor during the Trump administration. This was reportedly in revenge for the death strike that killed Qasem Soleimani in 2020, an Iranian military commander during the Trump administration. Now, imagine if that was 300,000, what Iran is offering now to kill Trump. Hmm. In a separate report, Iran has hacked the Trump campaign and offered the stolen material to the Harris Walls campaign. So Iran joins Putin in supporting the pro-communist slate. That should tell all rational voters all they need to know as to who they should be voting for. Iran is a threat to civilization itself, and the USA and its allies should be sealing off the country until its current leadership fails due to bankruptcy. Why has the Biden-Harris regime not initiated incredibly tough sanctions against Iran? Speaking of sanctions, maybe we need sanctions against the Biden-Harris administration. How about their Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, saying about Trump, let's extinguish him for good unquote. That sounds like an actionable threat of violence against a former president and current presidential candidate. Hey, Attorney General Garland, do your job for once. <laughs>